Hi, welcome back to Chem with Go. Today we're going to take a look at steric number and what uh, it actually represents, especially when we start taking a look at uh, simple molecular geometries. I will refer to steric number with the abbreviation SN uh, when we start going ahead and drawing these molecules. So now the steric number is actually the result of the addition of a couple of different things. It's the number of bonding areas added to the number of lone pairs. Now when we talk about the number of bonding areas and the lone pairs, we're talking about the number of bonding areas and lone pairs around the central atom. Now obviously when uh, the molecule gets a little bit larger, there may be more than one central atom that we need to take a look at, uh, especially again for uh, larger molecules. Uh, for the simpler molecules, we'll start out with some uh, uh, smaller examples, uh, smaller formulas, and we'll take a look at the central atom itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So here is the formula CH4, and this happens to be methane. Now this is the simplest hydrocarbon, the lightest hydrocarbon that we have. And we need to go ahead and draw the lowest dot structure for this molecule. Now I'll give you guys a hint. Usually the first atom in the formula tends to be the central atom. Now that first atom, just as long as it's not hydrogen, okay, again, one more time, is usually the central atom. If hydrogen happens to be the first uh, atom or first element in the formula, like an HCl, that obviously will not be the case because hydrogen can only form one uh, bond. In this case, carbon can make four bonds because of its lowest dot structure, so one, two, three, four, Again, we spread out the dots before we actually pair them up. That happens to be in Hund's rule. And uh, we know that hydrogen happens to be in group 1A. So we can go ahead and connect these dots right here. So one right here, one right there, one right here, and one right there. And since we've drawn this Lewis dot structure, we can see that there are four bonding areas, four bonding areas around the central atom right here and zero lone pairs. And let me go ahead and make that slash right there so you know that that's zero. Now again, a bonding area is an area where there's a bond. So here's one, two, three, four. There are no lone pairs in the central atom. And since this, uh, we have this combination, uh, the steric number for this molecule will happen to be four. So the steric number is equal to four because we add the two numbers together. So this one plus this one gives us the steric number. Now what does the steric number actually tell you? Well, what it does is it tells you, or helps you determine what the shape of the molecule is going to be. Um, because there are these electron domains, bonding areas and lone pairs around there, each one of these bonding areas and lone pairs want to get away from, each, uh, from one another. Uh, remember that they are all electrons, and they happen to be pairs of electrons. They are all negatively charged and will push away from each other as much as possible. So our representation of methane in our lowest dot structure is actually incorrect. Although we've drawn these to actually uh, indicate that there's a 90 degree bond angle between uh, these two bonding areas right here. In reality, this is a three-dimensional structure. And if I can get, uh, it, it's, it has to be possible for me to move these uh, with a little bit more sort of flexibility. Uh, note that the bond angle between here and here is 90, here and here is 90, and here and here is 90. But that's not the furthest away that they can be. In fact, the bond angle between here and here is 180. So that kind of uh, it doesn't make the angles between each one of these um, hydrogens and the carbon right there as the vertex of the angle not as uh, maximized as possible. So we'll take a look at in another video um, how to determine what these bond angles would be and what the shape of this molecule would be. And just to give you guys a heads up, this molecule happens to be tetrahedral in shape. Tetrahedral. And if you take a look at the uh, tetrahedral example video uh, that I have out, uh, I believe that methane happens to be the example in the video. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon.